Welcome back to Studio Chatter. When disaster strikes, will you be ready? Our next guest knows what you need. Welcome Isaiah Price from Sofo Survival to the table. Welcome. Thank Hello. you. That's really Hello, good to Isaiah. be here with you guys. This is going to be a fun topic. And, oh, and it's scary, this always like yeah. brings me doomsday, but oh. not. Like if you're prepared, then you don't have to fear. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's <laughs> emergency preparedness and survival, like it's, it can be such a, an intimidating topic and it can be really overwhelming because there's a lot that goes mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. But it's, if you're prepared, it's, the way to do it is just do it systematically and a little bit at a time and, and you can be prepared for stuff if you, get all stressed out and overwhelmed <laughs> and feel like you have to do it all at once or, or whatever. It, I mean, it, yeah, it can be really scary, okay. but that's why we're here. So you're going to share with us how to do it the right do way that and come up with a, just a, an easy, well, fun way to do it. I, uh, I, kind of our, our business slogan is adventure awaits, be ready. Mm. See, and that sounds fun. I kind of wanted to, does. yeah, exactly. I want it <laughs> rather than being like a doomsday prepper and like go a lot of, emergency preparedness and survival companies, they kind of play on the fear mm -hmm. a little bit. And I wanted to do the opposite and just call it like life's adventures. Of mm -hmm. course, there's the possibility that a major natural disaster could happen mm -hmm. or some True. major scary event could happen. And we're here to help people prepare for that. But I'm certainly not a doomsday prepper. And I, and I kind of like to just call them life's adventures because the more likely thing is that something smaller is going to happen to us. And I don't know, maybe you're the first on the scene of an accident. Maybe you know, you're know you out to dinner and somebody chokes on something and you wow. need to step in or you need to do CPR. Those are still major events, but not like a natural disaster. And like so, our earthquake of 2050 or something that yeah. we're preparing for. <laughs> yeah, who knows when it's... <laughs> that my food okay. storage will be no, bad no, no, for. No, no, so. No, no. so I have been curious for a very long time about your business. So first of all, you're located on Main Street. Yes. In Spanish yes. work, yes, yes, right? Okay. Yep. By one of my favorite stores, my sister's closet. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> so next time you're shopping, you need to divert and get the thing I've been curious about for a long time. You sometimes have the, I think, they're the, the water mm -hmm. storage devices, the big blue tanks that are out front, correct? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So I probably need one of those. Yes. Some you of do. those, two of those. I have how many, four. How many do you have? Four? Okay, I probably need some big ones because I only have some jugs. I mean, I'm sure that you probably yeah, like, have some got two gallons for the week. Let's go. I do. No, yep. no, seriously speaking though, but like, so, you know, along comes COVID and you probably had a mad rush, I'm, I'm sure. Well, you opened during COVID first. So that's kind of the crazy thing. So I, I actually started the business about seven years ago. Um, my background is in aviation. I'm a pilot and I was, I was gone a lot. I was flying and and I didn't have time to do this business full time. And so I started a website and just kind of did it a little uh -huh. bit here and there. Eventually, you know, the itch got strong enough that I quit my other, you know, I was doing that uh -huh. and another job. Uh -huh. I quit those so that I could dive into it full time. January 1st of 2020 is when I started doing that just from home. Oh. So the timing is crazy, right? Yeah. Um, I worked from home for a couple of months and then all of a sudden all the COVID stuff started happening oh. and I had always wanted to open a retail store, Okay. but I didn't really have the, I, you know, I didn't have the money to do it yet and, and kind of needed a little bit of a push to do it. Well, COVID was kind of that push okay. and I was like, mm -hmm. man, if I'm going to do it, Right, right now, now is the mm -hmm. time to do it. Yeah. And it was kind of weird because all the other businesses are closing down and they're mandating, you know, everyone's shutting the doors. And I'm like, I don't Let's know open. if this is official. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm supposed to open, but like, I just dove in and did it. I opened the doors on May 1st of 2020. And it, the whole thing has honestly been kind of a springboard, Okay. Um, which has been great. But I think the reason why though is because there is along with a lot of the weird stuff that has happened, which I don't love, mm -hmm. the thing that I do love about the last couple of years is that it's caused a lot of just general um, awareness. Like a lot, True. everyone's mm -hmm. a little bit more aware of- That we do need to the, actually be prepared exactly. if we don't have toilet paper or yeah, whatever. We call it the <laughs> great short toilet Water, paper shortage yes, of 2020. Yes. Yep. Or, mm -hmm. And Diet Coke, that was, <laughs> yes. That expires super fast though. It does. Yeah. So what are our kits? I mean, really just, and I'm sure that you would probably talk anybody through if we, if we, if we come into the store to say, look, here's your basics. Mm -hmm. Here's, here's what you should have. Yep. Like if any of that occurs, have a plan, right? Yep. Um, at least here's maybe, um, 
what do you call them, a burner phone, maybe how to meet with your family, yep. your S72 hour kit, some cash, all, all those things, right? I do not have a burner phone. One burner of the phone? <laughs> She's in forensics or something. Like, we don't, we don't even know what she does. Okay, wait, right. oh. I'm just toilet paper, <laughs> diet <laughs> coke, wheat, and, and a the burner lock phone. have some burner phones. <laughs> Yes, you got to have some phones. Some <laughs> okay, phones you can so throw tell us some of the top things that maybe have been in need or want this last year or two. Yeah, okay, so food storage, water storage, first aid, and um, like survival, you know, 72 hour yep. kits. Those are kind of our main things. Okay. Um, but it's, it's weird because COVID's caused all kinds of supply chain issues and shortages mm -hmm. across the board. We have a lot of products that we carry that they're either not available at all mm -hmm. or the lead time is like you know Weeks. months out yeah. you know is that so difficult to run a business that way it's crazy yeah mm -hmm. it's really weird i luckily have some experience and some previous jobs doing you know supply chain management and stuff so wow. i've been able to manage it okay but still like there's things that you just flat out can't get or you know you're you're anticipating the seasonal changes you know uh -huh. in the business mm -hmm. and what's popular in the spring summer fall winter but then you all of a sudden have to tack on the the lead times for all the different projects. Yeah, we have so thousands ordering of products, like six just, months you know, or a year beforehand yeah. to get it. So it can get kind of complicated, but in general, yeah, those are the main items and we try really hard to keep things in stock. Okay. Um, because part of the problem, like for instance, with freeze dryers, that's one of the items that we sell in the store. And if you go and try to buy one of those direct, you're looking at about a 12 week lead time but we just, we order them constantly so that we constantly have them in the pipeline and they make us wait just like everybody else does, all the other customers. Mm -hmm. But since we have them constantly being delivered, we, we keep them in stock. And we okay. do the same thing with our water tanks and okay. 72 hour kit supplies. And um, which reminds me, and one of the things we hand to everybody when they come in the store is a 72 hour kit checklist. Okay, yep. So it's I was just like gonna a, say education, do yeah, you have that for us? <laughs> exactly, and speaking of education, that's one of the things we really want to do uh, with the business is, of course, we have all the supplies and the gear and the things, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really important to me to educate people. Sophos, the, the, where that comes from, it actually means wisdom. It's a Greek word that Ooh. means wisdom. And I think that's a huge part of emergency preparedness. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's the stuff, but then there's knowledge and education. And so going back to my pilot, um, my aviation background, as a pilot, you practice emergencies constantly, mm -hmm. just in a simulated environment. You're going over and over and over the things that could go wrong. And so when something actually does go wrong, which it will at some point, right. you have been there and done it. And you've created a, a memory, you know, a checklist, and mm -hmm. you've memorized your response. And then when that event happens, you just go into it and you respond and you take care of it. I wanted to take that methodology and apply it to our everyday lives mm -hmm. and, you know, just our general public and educate people on what to do and how to do things. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the supplies that go with it. So okay. that's our mission. What yeah. about, I mean, I, I know one of the mistakes I have made over the years also is like rotation. Okay, so <laughs> the food, it's great to have the food supply, but if it sure. gets really old and weebly and disgusting, then nobody wants to touch it anyway. Yep. Is that part of the education also? Yeah, Speaking yeah. We do workshops on um, food storage, water storage, first aid. We do uh, certification classes, okay. all kinds of stuff. We have a classroom upstairs in the building where we just we teach all these things. I and do so, not know yeah, that we, part. We go, That's awesome, right? Yeah. So do you go out to different groups or do you have most everyone come to the store? Both. Okay. Yeah, I, I go and do presentations all the time to different wards and stakes and businesses. I think I've and, seen them on our list of mm -hmm. our stake. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, it's awesome because I can go and just do a private intimate setting where just a few people I've done groups or you know presentations to hundreds of people and then of course we do classes there in the, okay. in the okay. store as well so much to offer what's your favorite right. thing about all of it like what yeah. do you love teaching or I, I love talking I, well so I'm not a very good salesman uh -huh. but when people come into the store all the stuff we carry is stuff that I love and trust and use okay. myself that's really how a lot of the things are in there because that's what I do. I just, I pretty much live in the outdoors mm -hmm. and I love emergency preparedness. I love gear. I love all the stuff, okay. right? And so when people come in to ask about it, I'm like, okay, hey, this is why you need this because this is how to use it. I trust it. I try to keep a really high level of, you know, quality products, okay. not the cheap, Stuff. Not that you can't get good stuff for cheap, but, um, but I try to keep that last. really high, 
high quality item. But that's half the battle though, yes. right? Is the passion for it because if you're just saying it as like, oh, emergency preparedness is If you not, believe like, in it, then you, <laughs> it's yes. Not, it's not super exactly. exciting, but if right. you make it exciting, it kind of sounds yep. exciting. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm selling <laughs> it's things. It's an it's adventure. Like you're going it really is an adventure. going and getting a used car salesman pitch on something. Right. Yeah. You I'm just have just passion. showing you how to, you know, why you need it. And, you know, how well, I use it. So it right. makes you. it easier. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have needed something yes. like that and here. And thanks for finally getting in. I know Natasha's yes. wanted you here forever, and yep. you and I have tried to connect, and today... It worked out, it like the stars aligned. Right? Yeah. You had a good five hours notice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we know what sofas means, wisdom. Yep. Yes. I love survival. And we're more wise about it now. Thanks yep. so much. Thank thanks. you. Coming up next, we'll take a look into the Children's Justice Center.